Hi, Diana here. In our past lessons on talking characters, we have done two talking dogs, a deer, a cake buffalo, and a maquette. But they have all been photographs that we have taken and created an animation that talks. Today, I thought we would go over how to create a cartoon character that has been drawn and create it and make it talk. And so, the first step we're going to do is we have to get our character. Now, I got this from Free Picks. The information will be at the end. First thing we have to do is we've got to clear the background. And to do that, we need to duplicate our layers. So, we're going to duplicate a layer. That'll be this one that's hidden. And we're going to clear the background. To do that, I normally just click on the white and I leave the tolerance down around 20, which makes it that's pretty close. And so, we'll just click on it and take the background out. Now, I've already done it, so I'm going to just delete this one. And we've got our little fish ready. Now, the second step is we can have the fish, but we've got to have a body and a head. So, the first thing we have to do is create the head. And to do that, we're just going to make a circle. Now, I've already done the circle, so you'll just create an oval circle around. You want to get the mouth and then right above the eye. And then there's two little areas that we have to kind of come out and clean up. Select the inverse. You're on your fish. You've duplicated your fish. And then select the delete key. And you will now have your new head. Now you can see where I fixed the two areas right here to uh, create the roundness. So now we have our fish ready. We're going to turn this one off. And we're going to save this as the body. Save as. We're going to save it as a ping file. And we'll call it fish to body. And then we're going to turn that off and turn the head on. And we'll save that as a ping file. Fish to head ping file. Now we're going to close out of Photoshop. We're going to go ahead and save it as a PSD file. So we have it. Okay, now we're in Cartoon Animator 5 and we're ready to get started. I thought for the first part we would go ahead and apply a background. Now I usually just save them as images instead of background. And background locks it in and as an image you can move it around. And then I made a couple of little jellyfish that we could add. I thought that would be a cute effect. And so we're going to, every time we add something, we have to click out of it so that you can add something else. The reason that for that is, is that if you don't, it will just disappear. The object will replace whatever you have highlighted. So I want this one to be a little smaller. And I'd like them to, I want this one to come forward a little. And then this one. Go back a little. Need background to go back a little more. Okay, so now it's behind it. I like it better that way. And so now it's time to add our first let's save the project. Now we're going to add a character. So we're going to say open the file. We're going to open our body first. It says it's too big and it needs to resize it, which is fine. Whoa, that is big, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, fishy. Okay, so now it went right straight into composer mode. Here's our fish. And before we get started on the face, let's just add a couple of, of bones. Select it. Hit the bone tool. And let's add a few bones so that it'll have some nice little jiggly movement later on. And then right click to end it. Add another bone. Click. Add. Add. Right click to release. Add another bone. And let's take it at the eye and then over and up. Right click to let it go. Add another bone. Eye. Crossed and up. And right click to let it go. Add a last bone right from the bottom to the nose, to the head, to the top of the fin. We've got 16 bones. We're going to open the little spring editor and assign all the bones to the default group. And we're going to select rubbery. We're going to go back to the stage mode. We're going to move him up 
to where we want him to be. I want him to be a little bigger than the jellyfish. So let's rotate it around and we need to get him in the front. So let's bring him up in front of the jellyfish. There we go. So this is about the right size. Now we're going to select and we're going to go back to the composer mode and we're going to go to the face editor, create a head and we're going to do a morphed head and we're going to pick his fish 32 head and open it. Now when it does that it's going to bring it in and we're going to go ahead and crop it so that because we don't need all that space we have to put our little eyeball and set it in place and then we have to do the mouth now you don't want to go all the way around on the mouth because of the fact that for some reason that they don't work right it's one of those things where you go okay fine if you do it you'll find out why <laughs> It's just better not to go all the way out. It'll still move just fine. Now it's setting the facial features and we're gonna bring it down a little so that we can get the little face in, in order. Now I always like to press the all of them where you have uh, extra because then you can set them in place and it, it'd be a lot more precise. And now, even though there's no hair or anything, it, it really doesn't matter. It just gives it a nice... Now you can see what I'm supposed to be hitting on the outside is the yellow. So we, now we have that, so we're going to raise it up a little. And we're going to start with his eyebrows. Use the hand and bring it down. Now go back to the arrow and we're going to bring the eyebrow. We want it to come up nice and big because we want to be have a real good expression with his eyes. So we're going to have them really nice high so that there'll be some really good movement. We're going to go right around the actual eyeball instead of going up at the top because for some reason when you go up at the top like up here doesn't look right so you go around the eyeball on this type of a cartoon where the eyes are so big you go ahead and go around the eyeball so that you can get a much better movement and this kind of takes time but it's well worth the time now I can't remember whether the nose goes up and down or whether it goes down so we'll have to find out when we test it we're going to test it now and see if we at least have a face yet if you don't have the face it's not a big deal up down so we don't have the face so that means the nose probably is supposed to go this way so let's find out up down there you go left right the nose has everything to do with how the eyes and the mouth work. Now, don't ask me what the logic is. Because if you get the nose wrong, you're not going to see the face. And that is just a really weird, but it's the way it is. So, firstly, let's go through it and see what we have. What needs correction. Up, down, left, right. Okay, so the mouth was not up high enough. So, let's go to the mouth and see. Ooh. So it's still not right. A E I O U. Okay, so this is fine except for right over here. A E I O. Okay, now let's head and double check the eyeball. Now let's see. Up, down, left, right, and some natural movement. Eyes closing and blinking. Up, down, left, right, and rolling. A. Okay, so we're ready to move on. This is fine. Okay, now the head is ready and we just have to shift and stretch it into place. Okay, I think that's in place. And now we'll move back to the gauge mode. And we have our little fish with his face. Okay, so now select him. I've added a little wave file. And we're going to add that. 
Not going to play it just yet because we need to do a couple things to the face. We're going to select him. We're going to click the face. And the first thing I like to do before I do anything is blink the eyes. Uh, it's very hard to work with the face and try to blink the eyes at the same time. And remember to blink the eyes naturally. So we're going to just to do record. And to blink the eyes, all you have to do is click your mouse key. So we're going to click on record. Click the space bar. Halloween is right around just... the corner. Wow, and look at me. I'm orange, I'm black, and I'm white. I am absolutely awesome looking. And I have my three friends to trick or treat with me. Look how beautifully orange they are. I hope you have a happy Halloween. Because I sure am gonna. Okay, so now what we have to do, go back to the beginning. And we don't want to move any of this part. So let's undo it and let's uncheck the eyes. And we want to do the eyebrows and the upper filter. So let's preview it and see if we've got the right one selected. What? Okay, we can raise his eyes without... And we can move them around. Oh, that'll work. Okay, so we got the right thing selected. So we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to hit the record key. Hit the space bar. Halloween is right around the corner. Wow, and look at me. I'm orange, I'm black, and I'm white. I am absolutely awesome looking. And I have my three friends to trick or treat with me. Look how beautifully orange they are. I hope you have a happy Halloween, because I sure am gonna. I hope part one of this refresher course has helped you to remember how to create the face on your puppet. In part two, we're going to animate everything in the scene. So I hope to see you there. Have a great day. Diana.